Hey, it's Lee. Well, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to talk about these curling wands, which um, I bought two in two different sizes. Here's the one inch from Ulta, and here is the one and a half inch from Target. And both of these are the same price. It's $29.99, but I think at Ulta you can actually get it a little bit cheaper if you wait for their coupon. And especially, I think it's perfect for spring break or times when you want that beachy hair look. And these actually come with a glove that comes with it, which isn't super thick, so it might burn your hand if you touch it and hold it a little bit too long. But it's better than nothing if you do have like thicker thermo, thermo, I don't know, gloves that like, are heat resistant, then it'll be a little bit better if you tend to burn yourself. But just stay tuned and I'll show you how my hair will look and I'll show you how to curl to it. To start off, I will turn these on and they have a knob that has a plus and minus here. So if you like it super hot, then turn it all the way up. But I think you have to play with it a little bit to figure out what temperature works best for your hair. But since I do have thick, coarse hair, I always turn mine to the max. So watch out whatever it is, it might burn your hair. And use a heat protectant on your hair. Especially if you're going to go to the beach, use something with a little bit of SPF in it so it'll protect your hair. Once the light stops blinking, if you can see, then it'll be ready. So now that the light remains blue and stops blinking, I will section off my hair. Definitely got to put on your glove. And I will section about one inch sections. And when you hold this, you gotta hold it upside down. So I'm gonna curl this section out, roll it around until I'm holding the end. Hold it for about, let's say 15 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. And it should be good. If your hair is uh, fine and it doesn't hold a curl, then kind of hairspray it a little bit and then curl it. Can you tell? So you see how curly it is? And I will repeat again. Instead of going out now, I can just switch it up and go in. So give it alternating um, curls like that. So I'm just going to finish up my hair. And now for this last section, pretty much I like uh, the good thing about this wand is that you can kind of curl from the top of the section a little bit better than a curling iron. So uh, let me finish this up right here. Just remember when you get close to your face, uh, be a little bit careful because it might burn your face. And here is pretty much all the curls. Using the one and a half inch curl eye and it gives you these nice, really nice, soft, wavy curls. I think it's like very wearable during the daytime. You can leave it like this where it's tighter and you can see the texture. You can comb it or use a brush which makes it look better. See. Looks different now that I loosen the wave. Makes it look um, much softer right now. You see, while we see the texture right now, it's just softer wave. But if your hair is a little bit thinner and you think the texture might kind of loosen up in a couple of hours, I think it's better to use the smaller curling iron because it gives you much tighter curls. You put on, you know, a fedora and go out there with big sunglasses or, you know, if you don't use it for the beach, you can always tease it and give it some height so you can go out for a girl's night out. With and now I'm going to start on the other side. Now you can see the curls are much tighter and much smaller. This is the one inch curler. A lot of times I have the one that's tapered from big to small, which I don't like the small end because it makes it even thinner and smaller curls and I actually want the looser curls. Now you can see how much, look how tight these curls are compared to all well, these curls that I've actually brushed it out. so. You can't really see it as much, but you can tell this side is different from this side. And if you like it this tight, then you can definitely keep it like that. But I will finger comb through this. I even finger comb through it. It's like, it actually gives it even more volume though. It makes it fuller looking, but use a brush. And then you can. You see the difference, at least with the smaller one, 
I can create more texture on the top whereas this one kind of like a big curl line it's a little bit harder to curl close to the top but this has not bad either this one if I want an easy breezy day and this one you can see it's like much more drama and much more curls there you go you see how big this side of the hair can be if you love that then definitely go for this side I kind of I like both I don't know and that's why I'm keeping actually both curling irons and they're perfect for um, like I said the beach for spring break when you want to put on your bathing suit and just hang out and sun just remember SPF is the most important thing and uh, I think they're both as easy to use this one and the one with the clamp so I think the preference is up to you but if you want to try these curling wands out it's only 30 bucks for these and it's really easy to use just takes practice like always with everything so I hope you like it and um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment box below and I'll get right back to you and finally I do have a huge announcement I was contacted by Style Hall and now I have become their partner for a great channel if you go on their channel and subscribe to them there are so many things on there where it's come whether it's beauty it's DIY fashion health anything and if you know like I think you're Hispanic they do have a Hispanic um, channel on there too that belongs to Style Hall and that I'm very excited to be a part of their team and that you know thank you so much for your support you know for all this five six months I've been doing it and I'm super happy to be a part of it I'm very honored so thanks again guys and I'll definitely see you in the next video bye Mwah. love you love you Bye.